Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of fractions, specifically unit fractions, what they are and how we can draw them, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So a unit fraction, put simply, is going to be one part of a fraction that is drawn. So let's draw a simple fraction here. So let's draw a square, and I'm going to break it up into four equal parts. I'm just going to draw an X through the middle. If I were to draw one fourth, shade that in, then this is going to be a unit fraction because it is one part of a shape or a set of objects that has been shaded in or selected. Now, if I wanted to draw one fourth as a fraction of a set rather than a fractional whole, I could draw four circles and I could shade in one of those parts. That would also be one fourth. Remember when we are looking at the fraction one fourth, I'll write that again down here. The top number is called our numerator because that tells you how many pieces are selected. In this case, I've selected one. In that case, I've selected one. And the denominator tells you how many parts there are. And so a unit fraction is only a unit fraction when your numerator is one. You've only selected one part. But let me show you something in which I've selected one part, but it's not a unit fraction. So I'm going to draw that over here. Let's say I'm trying to break this circle into thirds. And I think I've drawn one third. I've got three parts, and I've got one of them shaken in shaded in, this is not a unit fraction. The reason it's not a unit fraction has nothing to do with my numerator. It is one, but my pieces are not the same size. So for anything to be a fraction, the fractional pieces have to be the same. And so in this case, this part was way too big. The fractional pieces must be equal. So make sure your drawings are uh, proportionate and Sometimes you'll get a question on a test and it might show you something like this and they're trying to trick you because that's not really a fraction. That's not really broken up into thirds. If I wanted to draw thirds, I could do it like this. Kind of draw it like this and you spread out almost like a peace sign. That would be one third. This will be a, the unit fraction of one third. So I've got five boxes here. They're all the exact same size. They're all lined up here. And I want to show you what happens with our unit fractions. We're going to start with the simplest unit fraction of all. We're just going to take this first box and we're going to cut it into half. And so my unit fraction, remember the unit fraction always has a numerator of one, is going to be one over two because there is one part out of two. And so if I wanted to split it up into thirds boxes, kind of hard to split into thirds, so you've got to do something like this. You can't really use diagonals. So if I'm going to shade this one part right here. And it really doesn't matter if I shade the left one, the middle one, or the right one. That's going to be my unit fraction of one third. But you notice that the amount that I shaded in got a little bit smaller. It's about that long right there, whereas my half obviously is quite a bit longer because it goes all the way to that line right there. So the strange thing about fractions is as the denominators, the bottom numbers, as they get larger, the fractional pieces get smaller. So in this case, I'm going to draw a fourth. So I'm going to just cut it in half both ways. And so that is going to give me a fractional unit of one fourth. Now look at how small my piece is. Each time I cut this into smaller and smaller pieces, my unit fractions are going to get smaller and smaller. So typically, when your number gets bigger, the piece gets bigger. But if it's in the denominator of a fraction, that means that each time your denominator gets larger, the fractional pieces get smaller because you're cutting the same hole into smaller and smaller pieces. So this last one is going to be eighths. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a fourth, and then I'm just going to use the diagonals to get each fourth in half. And if I cut each fourth in half, now you've got one little tiny sliver here, and that's one eighth. So you see the difference between going from one half to one third to one fourth, all the way down to one eighth. 